aim for him, but we'll see how it goes, right? It's it's just I think and you know by the here for that sound, we know that we're jumping into the draft right here, and we're just in the nick of time because they have not started banning any heroes yet in the first banning phase. Let's see how this goes. So uh, Singapore is going to be banning first. Oh, Valia first ban, and that was a good ban by Team Singapore. Dealing Valia is something really um, team is annoying with the knockback and also Valia. Yeah, all the other damage. Cloud been banned. The usual bad, the usual first ban. Always the, always the Cloud Valir is very situational. In some cases, I think in terms of priority, people will still ban that Cloud. Uh, we've seen uh, this. Uh, for sure, they're gonna try to get farmers for their side. Yep. Uh, the guy was a really good laner. Probably banning Selena because we do know that Indonesia has a tendency. Oh no, Indonesia doesn't have to do that. Basically, Singapore is doing it. They're banning Selena. That's good. Kimi ban. That's surprising. Yep. Selena Kimi. I, ha I haven't seen Kimi today at all. Uh, it's been banned mostly as well. I think in most of the games, uh, Selena and Kimi is our big ban. Uh, especially from Singapore. Usually the one who bans Kimi is Singapore. But in this case, Indonesia is the one who's actually doing it. Uh, they decided to actually ban the other. So they defended Valer and Selena. So speak Esmeralda. Well, well, Esmeralda. We, we can't deny that Esmeralda is a key for team for team Singapore to win just now. Looks like it looks and also for Saw. Yep, correct. Uh, so we'll see if Indonesia wants to stick with the usual starting draft. High loss for Indonesia. They lost to high loss. So yep, I, it was a big high loss for themselves. Oh, just now was a high loss Singapore, right? Yeah, it was high loss. Wow, this is an early pick, a high loss Uranus. L like, uh, knowing Indonesia, usually their Uranus pick is either fifth or fourth pick. I'm surprised it came out this early. Yeah, but look at that. It, 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 it seems like <laughs> Team Singapore is going to strike back with Kareem, which is a really, really good pick. Yeah. If uh, right now, Indonesia need to be careful that they're not making a mistake at all in an early game and, and feed that carry. If, if, if Cloud is out of the picture, basically it's always a carry. And a Farsa again. Farsa. Yeah. Farsa by JPL is actually one well, of the best in front of the we've, we've seen too much. I mean, this is game number three, right? The game round number three. Even in Prison Basha, we've seen a lot of carry. High loss, Uranus being played out right here. Um, and another, another Kufra? Being done? Yeah, Kufra. Kaja for Team Indonesia. I, I, I kind of like this set of Indonesia with two tangy heroes like High Loss and, and got some catcher like Kaja. All they need is just some good damage dealer. We still have so many in the pool. We even have Ling. I want to see some Ling. We almost, almost saw like. I'm kind of surprised that nobody picked Thomas in this game. Maybe for Team Singapore. Yeah, no. Um, I thought it was gonna come from Martha? Indonesia. I thought it was gonna come from Indonesia. Mm, oh, Masha. Masha. Yeah. Yeah, Masha's a big pick. No jaw hate too in this one. Atlas for Team Singapore. This is interesting. I think with whatever they have now, they're not going to be picking a jaw hit. Again, it might not fit into this. What wow. is that? Thomas, okay. It's Thomas. A, it's a Thomas. I think this is a rare occurrence. You would usually see Thomas being the first pick or first second pick during the whole draft yeah. but this is a little bit different um, like this time about you see high loss being first pick coming from Indonesia okay no Kufra as well on this one yep none of them as well so right now on the draft itself Cyclops so what's your take on this would you are you in favor in for Indonesia or Team Singapore I think I'm going for Team Indonesia for high loss and uh, Uranus. 
Yeah. I just feel like synergy wise Indonesia has it better but we'll see probably it, Singapore can actually prove us wrong on this one and actually perform much true, much better true. compared to Indonesia right we've seen Indonesia yeah. dominating one whole game over Singapore and then the next thing happens game number two Singapore just dominates with a huge uh, kill gap on game number two itself it can be anybody's game right here and let's see which team will have an advantage in the best of three series ladies and gentlemen this is game number three I'm gonna be passing it over to my good man Cyclops to take it over you okay Thank you very much. Game number three. Singapore versus Indonesia. All right. You're having a match. It's been a while since we see match in a game, to be honest. Not picking that much for Marsha. Now for Sar and the uh, Aeon on Atlas is in the middle lane trying to make sure that carry got a good farm they need to take care of carry that hyper core oh 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 Ooh, that was so close jay marsha running away yeah somebody getting in a little bit too deep with the iron iron edge from the uranus walking away for ultimus now that might, that might go to the first run to Team Singapore? No! Uh, it seems like Team Indonesia will still helping each other quite well. And... Again, I think the key of winning this game for Team, for team Singap Singapore is to make sure that Potato got a good farm. Uh, they are having that facade JPL and also and also Aeon on Atlas to take care of her. A pretty good babysitter. Especially Aeon walking everywhere with her. Atlas. I really like this combo Atlas and Annihilate. Uh, smack the ground and then and then sitting in the speedy light wheel. Thomas at the bottom lane, solo lane. Oh, Kaja! I think it is flying. Trying to catch? No, not yet. So that was three. Somebody gonna get dive around here to go for the Thomas, but he's hugging the tower and he's sitting in the both and thigh. Thomas is the one who killed in state. Looking pretty strong for the Singaporean. Getting dive, but it does matter. Because we have Thomas here. On top, Marsha playing super aggressive for Team Indonesia. Getting poked by Fasar, and that's hella damage by Fasar. Along with Esperada's startup dance. out the way that he can keep in mind that JPL had a triple kill last game it was a key moment that made Singapore won last game now somebody gotta get picked off and yep it was a clean kill by the uh, Indonesia side bidding around for the speedy Go for a buff. JPL. Time is turtle time. And it seems like both sides really want to contest for this turtle. Start by sending in Esmeralda doing some startup dance and the facade poking damage from the back line always work. Altami is the fun to fall down for Team Indonesia right now. Time to die for the tower too. 
Sending a lot of spells in a small area. Team Indonesia seems like they cannot send the damage, even though they have a high loss. But high loss seems to be the last man standing here, shopping everyone with his axe. Marta got one kill. A little bit overextend for Team Singapore, and they lost their core heroes. Potato falls down as a carry. That's bad. Whoever get this one got a chance to finish this series 3 1. Marsha. Let destroy it. Here we go. Somebody gonna get slain. It's Kaja using divine judgment, and this is the first time using the glorious pathway. They're looking for more kill for team Indonesia coming from the behind. And it's one kill on one more kill on Team Singapore. They're pushing forward. They want it more. The bulls are right here. Oh, Marsha on killing spree. In the, I really like the creativity of Team Indonesia having a Masha and Hayabusa together to just increase the speed of their game. Uh, at the same time, they balance it out by having some tanky heroes and defensive like High Loss. High Loss tanking the tower, going straight for the facade. Seems like that's a really good one for Team Indonesia. Masha getting strong, Hayabusa. Um, got a maximum farm and he's ready to operate. Time to go for the Indonesia. Contest the turtle. Winning a by Uranus using the Iron Edge. Diving inside, the rest of Team Singapore need to retreat just a little bit. High loss on the glorious pathway, but however, Carrie still finds some ankles to slam somebody off and run away. Another big fight. Farsad cannot fire space in Team Fire at all. And also Carrie. This game, man, they, they counter the Farsad with Marshall. Get, once the start getting gone on and that's it. Macha is really fast. And also higher booza too. Oh, Kaja dragged somebody back with a divine judgment and got one more kill on Team Singapore. Yuri is still staying in the front line, spamming his eye on edge. And it's Kerry. Now to the top where we got. Trying to spit push for Team Indonesia. Sending Uranus to push on top. Indonesia taking control of 
the outside area of Team Singapore locking them down in the base and taking all the minions outside getting ready for the Lord which they are taking Drag somebody out and it hits down to four for Team Singapore. Team Indonesia diving in with a high loss. Glorious pathway already being landed. They treat just a little bit. I think it might be a fake beam from Team Indonesia. Try to lure uh, Singaporean out of the base. They still can be in the bush. Ready for round two. There we go in once again. One more time. There we go. Waiting for it. But to watch out that car child with the divine Lord resurrecting soon. Judgment. They are grouping up for Team Indonesia. You can see how careful they are, even though they are so far ahead. But they just, they just don't want to do any reckless dive. Jay on the bomb with Marsha. Make a kill by Hayabusa. This is his time to shine. They we decided to strike on the top tier three turrets and they are pushing in inside the base for that high loss. However, fast up hope for the long range, kill someone, but the main damage dealer of Team Singapore is dead. Lord is swinging on the base and then that's it.